This is a quote to cut someone or something out of a picture. We're going to use this picture of a dog and we're going to cut them out so this background disappears. This works in Photoshop CS3 and higher, I believe. This tool I know is not available in CS2. You know your standard magic wands tool here. Right click that and switch over to the quick selection tool. Now what we're going to do, and you can make your brush a little bigger in this image, we're going to grab, and you can see as I drag it, that the little marching ants just kind of run around the image. Now as long as this is set up here to plus, you'll see it will add to what is being selected. And we're just going to keep selecting and you can see it jumps and in some places it's missing things. So with it set to the plus, we're going to go back and we're going to grab this piece that it missed. And my computer is being a little slow today. We'll grab the shadow there and around the ear. And then we'll come down here and we're going to grab this piece of the shadow. and this little piece here. There's a little piece there. And now you see when I grabbed that, it took off part of her collar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in, not quite that much, but to a good degree. And we're gonna switch this to the minus tool because we want to take that out of the selection part and we're just going to go very slowly and give it a moment. I have it set to auto enhance so it automatically jumps the lines a little better. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take off that little bit since it's just a little piece of hair sticking out. We're going to switch back to the minus tool because we do want to get the rest of her collar right along here. And there was a spot I saw on the top of her head that was going to give her a little mohawk. So we want to fix that too by just running along there. And you can see that I'm actually slightly outside the dots and it will enhance it correctly or more correctly and adjust it. There's still a little piece right there I want to come down on. And you can see the dots will jump after it's done thinking. And then what I do is I, I don't zoom it quite this much, but I zoom it in nice and tight so I can go around and make sure that there's nothing else that's missed. And now that it looks pretty good to me, what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete that. And I should have done this first. Double click on your lock and say OK to give it a layer. And now you're just going to hit the delete button on your keyboard and the entire background has disappeared. If you had wanted to delete the dog and keep the background, what you would do is then right click and say select inverse. And when you delete, you can delete the dog instead. If you needed to fade out the background, for example, on this, what I would do is I have the inverse selected the dog what I usually do is duplicate the layer first. So now I have two layers. I did that by right clicking over here. And now we're going to select the background and on the top image we delete the background. So you can see here this image is on top. Now I use control D to deselect and on this back image I could come in here and adjust my saturation to remove the saturation. So the background becomes black and white to whatever degree you wanted, but the dog remains in color.